What's going on, everybody? It's Tyler Terrestrial. Welcome back to a Terraria Thursday, actually. I wasn't already previously in the world because I'm an idiot. But, uh, that's just how it would be. Now, uh, <laughs> if I was supposed to be actually doing something, I completely forgot. That's a little bit. Pretty sure it was supposed to be, uh, yeah. Duke. Tron. Right. That guy. Alright, let's see what we can do about Duke Fisheron. That Fisheron boy. Got a platinum coin in here? Nice. I am tired. I just got off work, man. So if he just completely demolishes us, I am sorry. That dash with the ninja gear is actually pretty, uh, pretty quick. <laughs> Fast as we all right. Uh, all right. Actually, I, I should probably get more potions. I don't really think about it. So yeah, today we're probably we're just gonna do Duke Fisher on see if we can handle this man real quick. Have those in my my piggy bank. Yeah, we're just gonna. See if we can get him with the influx waiver. We got him pretty low last time. He just did that that uh <laughs> that Houdini trick and completely polished us. Yeah, maybe I'll use this on him. Yeah, fear me, I'm a mage. All right, I just realized I could probably get some. some uh, I don't know what to call it, tidying up or something like that. But yeah, while we go to the ocean, it's the perfect time for me to talk about. The direction I, I want to take the channel in. Now, I don't know when these. This won't be an immediate change. Definitely not in the next week or so, like that. My work week next week is pretty crazy. I'm going to level up next week this weekend, so my day has got moved around. So, Terraria Thursday for next week will either. I'll either pre record it, I have the time after maybe Sunday, maybe Saturday night after I level up. Or next week's video will be cancelled only because I'll be working literally every day of the week. Besides Friday, and then I'll probably be back this Saturday and so yeah, my work's gonna be tough. But uh I'm gonna start making more videos, not just gaming focused, you know. Basically terraria focused, but uh, but I will I would I do want to introduce more more games themselves, but also just different types of videos, you know what I'm saying? I do want to start doing that pretty soon. Just because I'll just be like a kind of a multi genre channel. channel and just put different videos out. This won't be immediate. I'll definitely have some time to warm up, get some ideas, and get gain the confidence to actually post things. But yeah. Just letting you, letting you know beforehand. So. Alright, Duke. He's down to half health and haven't had to use a potion yet, so this is this might actually oh second form? No, not yet. There it is. Oh I'm in my spaceship, I wasn't supposed to be. I'm trying to die here, boy. I am like trying to die here, me. Oh god. See, I can't keep track of them.
That would have been a perfect time to get some good damage out, and I, I missed it. Uh, that's bad. Build a sky change color. Oh no. No way! I got him! Oh my god, that was clutch. Oh my god. How much health did I have? Oh my lord. I got like an itch on my back, my bad. Yo, my heart just... <laughs> Ooh, I went so quiet. Yo, that was too close. I was thinking of switching to the yo-yo at the internet, but like, man, maybe I could have kept consistent damage with all the thing, with all the attack differences I have with the yo-yos. I don't know. I only have my yoga bag on. Okay. Oh my god, yo, that <laughs> that was stressful. Uh, we're not fighting him again, though. We got it. Yo, we in here, boys. That's exactly, that's not what we wanted, but this is exactly what we truly wanted. This, the shrimpy truffle. Yes. The fish are on mount. This mount, this is the best mount in the game. He moves so quick through water. I can set up so many different arenas with water now, just cause I have this, just this alone. All right. All right, I should probably do a better job of explaining this instead of gawking over the luck I got. As you can see, he moves extremely quick when you put him in water. Now he's not quick out of water, but when he doesn't have that water buff, like he's he he moves, he moves quick enough, you know. But I mean, compared to the cosmic car key, this gives you a damage boost and a speed boost, of course, when you're in water or when you touch water. I think it's for like a good five seconds or something like that. I don't know. It's not listed on the, like actually on the buff itself. But you know what? We're going to go back to the Cosmic Car Key and we just about to try and speed through this. I don't know how long we've actually been recording. Hold up. Okay. We're going to actually... Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I need anything else to do fish run, so we're just gonna go straight to the lunatic cultist. I forgot he does damage. Let me go ahead and do that actually. Where you at fam? There you are. This fight actually isn't like too hard at all. I don't even think he gets any like special expert mode attacks. Like most bosses do. Get like a second form like I don't even think he actually gets wait if I remember correctly it's the yeah all right I should probably explain that so yeah when he does the duplicating thing be extra careful you have to be quick but look at the eyes which everyone's eyes are actually are slanted that's the one you want to attack you don't want to attack any of the other ones because it'll spawn a dragon out of that out of that like symbol right there and that dragon will completely mess you over so you really want to be careful when you're uh, when he does that. His attacks are easy enough to dodge, but as you can see, when they actually do hit, they are not pleasant. Gotcha. Yeah, you have you have you have more than enough time to kind of sit there and kind of decipher which one's the real one. But you do not want to just keep spamming attacks. That's that's actually not good at all. Okay. He gets that attack after half health, but that's about it. That attack does a lot of damage though, so don't sleep on that one at all. All his attacks do a lot of damage. Just don't sleep on this guy. Like this kind of, I'm probably making this look a bit easier than it is. But this, he is not to be slept on. He can mess you up so quick if you're not dodging. That's why getting this uh, cosmic cart key was like, is like really important. Uh, the heck was that, my guy? I see you. You ain't slick. You ain't- oh, you laughing. What you laughing for? Last I checked, you about to die, though. 
Oh God, see? Yeah, see, I'm getting cocky. Do not sleep on this man, people. I'm telling you. When you get to this stage in the game, do not. <gasps> oh. Oh, he was about to spawn the dragon. Yeah, I hit the wrong one by accident. The dragon was about to spawn. All right. So we can we can kill the lunatic cultist. Fun fact: the lunatic cultist is like one of the only bosses in the game. When you go into expert mode, he doesn't have a, a one of those treasure bag things like Duke Fishron dropped, right? Instead, drops this the ancient manipulator. This is how you use the fragments in Luminite, which we'll be going over. Well, pr we'll probably tackle these things the next episode, right? Only because that's 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 kind of an overload, at least for one episode. Uh, I'm really glad we beat Duke Fishron and got the Shrimpy Truffle. But now we can actually start setting up for the end game, the Moon Lord, which that is sadly going to be the end of Terraria Thursday, at least for the vanilla series. This isn't a. Most of your work is on this game is going to be done. Kind of grind work, if you know what I'm saying. My back itches for some reason. <laughs> But yeah, most of your work is going to be done grind work, but actually progressing through the game when you get like in a good spot does not take long at all. You can knock these bosses out quick. But yeah, these are the four lunar pillars though. I guess we can showcase them as kind of a preview for next episode. We're going to be tackling this one first, the solar pillar, which is ironic because yeah. But yeah, I guess I could do a kind of a, all right, look, y'all, y'all ugly, me. Go up here. So I can explain myself. All right. So this is gonna be the end of the episode, but we're gonna do a short description on each pillar, right? So we're going for the solar pillar. Now this each pillar has its own correspondence with class. Like you have solar is the man, get back. Okay, sorry, I was interrupted rudely. All right, so the solar pillar is the melee pillar as we're doing a melee play playthrough. We want to go for this one first to try and get some melee weapons from the solar pillar. Now, these are going to be the in-game weapons. Like, these are good. Not true in-game, but like right before in-game, but basically in-game. with This This is the in-game. Like, I'm probably going to throw a picture. This is, We're in the in-game now. This is the solar pillar. I'm pretty sure it's unanimously agreed upon that this is the hardest pillar to take down because everything in here does so much damage. Oh. Everything that spawns in this pillar does so much damage. So it is most of but definitely the worst for ranged characters, which is my primary class playthrough. But yeah, there's like an anti-flying thing. So if you hover above like a certain amount of blocks, this like centipedal thing comes and hits you and it does too much damage, absurd amount of damage. It needs to be nerfed, but it actually doesn't. So yeah, we got the solar pillar, the melee pillar. We have the nebula pillar. This is for the mages out there. This one isn't too difficult to deal with. The brain suckler things are, we'll see them all next episode. They have like brain sucklers and everything. They're not too bad. To deal with for range character maybe maybe i'll struggle with it a little bit with the melee with a melee character i don't know but i've never had too much difficulty with this with the uh nebula pillar now the vortex pillar this is the range pillar this is where you need your range weapons and stuff from and gear and everything everything in here is shooting at you constantly you have some melee attackers but most of the time you're getting shot at so like you probably should be weary of this one. This one's probably, this is probably third hardest. Okay, solar is definitely the hardest. I'd say Neville is probably the easiest. This one's probably right in the middle. But then the Stardust Pillar. This is for probably my favorite way to play the game. Not my, not my most played, but my favorite way to play is the Stardust Pillar, and that's for the Summer class. Now, I don't know what they were thinking. I'm hoping it gets updated. Like Journey's End does something to fix this. But the summer class is super, super weak until you get to the end of the game. The Stardust Pillar is by far, in my opinion, the best pillar to go for and the best gear to use. Because it's just it's like easy mode once you get full summer to gear and you're like it's like easy mode. These summons that you can get from here do so much damage, it's absurd. And I'm definitely gonna actually get one and replace my uh, 
my Xeno staff. I'm not sure if I want to go for the Cell or the Dragon, but the Stardust Dragon is insane. And yeah. So yeah, that's a short breakdown. You got the Summoner, Ranger, uh, I forgot for a second. Mage and uh, Melee. Solar, Nebula, Vortex, and Stardust. It's pretty cool. It's going to be difficult. That's going to take up a whole episode. But the but next episode will be these and the Moon Lord. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed that short description. But I hope you enjoyed this entire video. I know it's kind of shorter than usual. I always say that, but I record longer than I think I do. Yeah, th th this video might be actually shorter than usual, but... That's, that's really all we can really do. I don't want to cram too much into one episode. We took down two bosses. We'll probably go over a better strategy or Duke first year on it or super video in a different video. I said super video. A different video. But yeah. That'll that'll be it for us today. I'm gonna uh gonna go off cam and go find those chests. That's what I was supposed to do, and I never did it. I apologize. Yeah, I'm gonna go find those chests so we can use these keys. Probably do some more farming in between episodes if I can get to it. I I probably won't like there's a good chance next week's video is going to be cancelled just because of how much work I have. So, like, until work cools down and I can, like, kind of destabilize and relax, we probably won't be seeing videos. I'll probably post vlogs, some, maybe some videos of some sort of Level Up Expo to try and, like, get myself into the groove of recording different other videos, especially vlogs. I kind of want to do vlogs on certain things. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Next week's video might be canceled, might not be, I don't know. Yeah, uh, if you like the video, like it, share it to your friends, new to the channel, subscribe. I love you all, you beautiful bastards, and uh, I'll be out, see ya.